Hello, hello, hello. You know I couldn't stay away from this stylish game for too long. We're continuing to move right along, improving the cowboy, and enjoying the hell out of this stylish world. Uh, yeah, we have no fight lined up for our giant mech currently, so our current job is to make an omelette. Which, you know, a little weird, but whatever. Also, how much money do I have? Definitely need to repair the cowboy as well. Because you never know when a fight opportunity will pop up. I don't remember what got busted up in the last fight, but I don't think it was that much. I think we... Yeah, we kind of wiped the floor with our last opponent. Which, uh, I'm totally okay with. I don't have a movie. Do we have any new... Oh, we do have new punches. Deal 45 damage, increase morale by 20. Ooh, Pineapple Express. Damn, some of these are very good. Proper reloading one but Okay, yeah, I'm gonna want some of these. <laughs> Cover one movement point. Ooh. Call of Duel. Uh, attack plus ten. Okay. Hmm. Remember your youth, the good old days when your hand was smaller than an ice cream cone. <laughs> We've got. Ooh, we have a reload heal. Okay. All kinds of very neat options on our training regimen. Hmm. I don't have any pineapples. An Let's check in with pineapples. Ranks? That's kind of exciting. Don't let your guard down, Donkey. This guy seems way out of our league. Oh, yeah. I forgot to turn it back on. This is going to mute the game briefly. Uh, but most of the... Uh, I mean, we'll see We'll see if it keeps up. But, uh, like, I have not been enjoying Kipu's voice acting. Yeah, so I, I skip most of his lines. You can redeem to uh, make me read him, though. <laughs> but the current fight we're trying to set up is with somebody who... Uh, picks fights with underdogs, and, uh, I think kills his opponents? I seem to remember that being the thing that was, like, the complicating factor. Should check on Z. Her niece's condition. Can't leave it like that. I'll figure it out. Okay, good. Good. We can help out the witch. But first, let's stop by the shop. Pick up what we need to make a delicious omelet. Just a stupid stone. Got hit in the head with a similar one once. Maybe that's why I'm so fucked up. I keep waiting for there to be money in one of these things, but... Alas! Hey, mister. Can I ask you something? I suppose. Uh, are you some kind of gangster? Uh. Hmm. You are, aren't you? They're building up this whole thing in their heads about how... I used to... Shade it. Not anymore, though. How Shade is some, like, big-time badass, and he's just, like, he's just basically a sports manager at this point. <laughs> I see. 
So why do you dress like that? Because it's cool. I just like it. Fancy style. By the way, what's your name? I bet you got a fancy gangster name. Dominic Shade. I don't think we've learned his name before. Dominic. See? Okay. What I tell you? Well, make yourself at home, Mr. Shade. Ugh. He's like, ugh, I hate it when people greet me and make me feel welcome at places. Hi, right, can I talk to you yet? Nope. Wait, I can interact with the door? I wonder what this door leads to. Apparently, I can't find that out yet. What have you got? What? Pinky finger. Uh, we need eggs and cheese, and you better believe I'm buying a pineapple. Microwave pudding, perfect for a romantic evening? Eh. I... Hey, okay, Mom. I was like, he the looks game like a crash? Person. I don't see him as a threat. What do you think? Yeah, I've chopped up worse. Uh. <laughs> okay. A couple of secret badasses running the place. Uh, geez, I'm gonna speak with Nebraska. Let's see. I should also refresh my memory, check in with the pineapple god. Um, where my pineapple social links are at. I can't believe that's a real sentence that makes sense in the context of this game. Oh, great and mighty pineapple god. Who do I need to give more pineapples to? Um... Hmm. Most people, honestly. I maybe give them to either the barkeep or Nebraska. Yeah, let me let me try the barkeep. I want to check in on the bar anyway. Joy. Joy. Her name is Joy. Sorry, it's been a little bit since I played this game. Since I interrupted my streaming schedule last week. <laughs> To the Midnight Rider. Also, any new... A closed shop. Can't say I didn't see this coming. Damn, new new videos? Ah, well. I'm sure we'll manage to find other videos somewhere. Hi, how the pineapple? A pineapple? Well, thank you. Yeah, let's get a drink. Gotta relax in the middle of our I day. I see you've dealt with your issues. She's a lovely little girl, by the way. We have we have made one shopping trip, so it's time to get drunk. This is how Shade conducts business. So you figured it out. She'll only be staying for a couple more days, though. Why so early? She seems to be enjoying her time with you guys. She shouldn't be around people like us. Well, we all are a weird bunch. <laughs> I guess we are. Thanks for the drink, Joy. Can I pickpocket you yet? Damn. Eventually, I will get to pickpocket that guy or do something to interact with him. He's been passed out at the bar the entire game. Eventually, that's gonna pay off. I'm telling you. I have faith. <laughs> okay, let's check in on Z. See what how this whole exorcist situation's coming along. Because, you know, we should help out our mechanic friend, lady. Different background noise. Exorcism! So, you really came? Sure. Are you certain that you really know how to do this? Of course not. I mean, whatever the outcome, I'll never see you the same way. I won't let you down, Z. Uh, just give me it's a moment okay, to prepare. Honey. Whatever you need. And by moment to prepare, I mean safe. <laughs> Because I have no idea what the hell this is going to be. So, sure. Are you? I mean, what? I won't let you down, Z. Follow me. Show me the room. What up, demons? It's, it's me, dark your boy. Ah, oh, no. What's with all this stuff? Just some items I might need, depending on what happens here today. Why is one of them a gun? A sword? Close. Don't worry about that. It's kind of a family relic. Well, I've never seen a Japanese sword like that. 
What's that symbol? It's from the Yakuza. It's a seven leaf lotus. Mm. I also brought some holy water and rock salt. Okay, those are more reasonable. No problem. I'll also use a Christian cross. Well, let's get started. What's your niece's name? May. Hey. Hey, you motherfucker. You hear me? <laughs> He's like, hey, you fucking demon. You better leave the girl alone, you fucking piece of shit. Hell yeah, Shade. Tell him. I'm sick. You're going down, son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm so sick of you buffoons coming and going, swinging those amusing objects. Also, May's cute. Hopefully we can help her. I'm not like them. I'm here to end this shit. Oh yeah? What makes you so different? I can see right through you. How so? I'm not talking to May now, am I? <laughs> Ooh. That's just some wild guess, you porcupine. It's time for you to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just berate the demon. What could possibly go wrong? Make me. My pleasure. Okay, Exorcism is quick time event. Not sure why I expected anything else from this game. We're charging up spiritual power. Y A X B Y. Shit, A X B. If it followed like a pattern, then it. Oh, wait, it is. But it's like a weird pattern. Am I getting. Oh! It looks like it's working, maybe? Yeah! Hooray! Demon defeated, question mark? What the hell was that? <laughs> Fucking possessor spirit. What you would call a demon. Will we have to go through that again? Please don't tell me this becomes a regular minigame. A couple of times. Ah, oh, shit. My god, I can't believe this is happening. I've seen my share of crazy shit in this life, C. Just don't let it get to you. One day, this will be just a foggy memory. This game truly is the gift that keeps on giving. When I started the last stream, within like 20 minutes, I was talking to a literal pineapple god who was telling me he'd curse me with hard nipples if I didn't do what he wanted. Now we're exercising a demon. Eventually, the plot will get back to giant mecha battles. Why did this happen to her? Such a kind child. She doesn't deserve this. Everything happens for a reason, Z. We might know in due time. Sometimes the reason is just tough shit. I'm <laughs> or in something. Shock. Take the day off. Get your head out of this place for a while. I guess that'll have to do. A strange amulet fell off May's bed during the exorcism. Cthulhu amulet added to inventory. Great. That's definitely a thing I should be carrying around. It is said to hold the power to bend time and space, made out of cheap plastic. And buffs the cat bath minigame because... Of course it does. Anyway, how is, uh... I'm still shocked. Okay, I guess she can't really think about, uh, the Find All Her Cats minigame. Or side quest, rather. I am going to check in with old Bounty Hog. Because it looks like I'm going to need a little bit more money. Because there's delightful new moves available, but goddamn they're expensive. Hey, what's up, Fancy Jack? Yo, man! How's it going? I'm taking care of the store this week. Uncle Hog's out on a business trip. Tell you what, we should hang out more, man. Just hit me up whenever you got the time. Absolutely. You're a cool dude. Let's do some junk. You sure you want to work? There are better things to do with your life. Gets me every time. Oh shit, this is the wrong one. I meant to do the other minigame, but you know what? I'll make this work.
damn it. Get out. Get out. Yeah. Okay, I got 38. That feels pretty good. Eh, didn't get me that good of rewards, though. Okay, let's do a junk hunt instead, and then I'll move on with my life. Always start with the small ones, because there's not much danger of breaking the shovel on those, and I can go pretty fast. Then you move on to the mediums, and go a little aggressive until I fuck up and break a shovel, which so far is not happening. Okay, over aggressive then. Yeah. Okay. Still got 10 of them. That's pretty good. Enough to get me 410 real dollars. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Hopefully, I don't have to do another grinding session off stream or on stream, but you know. It is what it is sometimes with RPGs. All right, Nebraska, it's time to cook up a delicious omelet for reasons that I do not remember. I think it was something about selling the omelets. It's omelet time. I can butt mash like a champ. I'm a veteran of Mario Party. Don't test me, Wolf Stride. All right, this one's just around in a circle. Woo! Got it done in record time. This looks perfect. Now leave it to me. I already got us some clients. You actually did it? It was easy. I've been spreading the word about your omelet since I was seven. <laughs> I'm a professional now. All right, she's our hype lady. I can see that. I'll have your money tomorrow. Uncle Knife is gonna help me with wrapping up and stuff. What about cool. me? Cool. Mm, You're gonna be I useless, don't think people. There's anything for you yet. <laughs> All right, I can't let a day go by without doing a virtual battle. Let's see. I don't think I can take on the challenges yet. Well, then again, all I did was try Dogco. This is just the same robot fight, just against a different pilot. Maybe I can have a chance here. Because if the plot won't give me giant robot fights, I'll do it myself. Oh, those stats are very high. <laughs> see. I can get all the way there, and then I can start to bust through armor. So I'll go with my standard opener. Eventually I'm gonna have to change this up, but for now, for now it works. Let's see. And let's, uh, yeah, let's reload. Cactus Guard. And back up. Oh no, applied armor to a part I'm not going to attack. Oh, that looks powerful. And it is! Oh god. Okay, there's my shield immediately broken down. Cool. Great. Not even close to having my... Okay. This is fine, actually. This is fine. I can revolver punch into pushing her. Yeah. Okay. We just gun straight for the chest, otherwise I'm gonna lose. This is a war of attrition I cannot win. There is no way I win a war of attrition here. 
So we just go full aggro. And hope I can burn her down quick. Probably can't be done, but, you know. Gotta try, right? Oh shit, that's quite strong. Oh god, don't shoot, don't shoot my arm. Don't shoot my arm. Oh, you just one-shot my head instead. This is fine. Uh, I kind of want a rifle burst. But I should move up at least a little before I do that. Let's hope we get lucky. Not really. Can still do a pistol punch and pray. Hey! That hit exactly where I wanted it to. Knight, keep pummeling her. We have no defense left. We gotta just go full offense. That's cheating, trash. Fuck. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, after I get my butt kicked here, I'll just go fight a rando. Yeah, we, uh, we need wizardry protocol so we can attack. Um... Yeah, I think I just need to keep pushing. Here. Because I do have revolver punch back, I just gotta hope I get lucky. Stranger things have happened. Oh, that's what I like to see. And pistol punch I can do from range. Because reasons. You know. Hmm, she's a ranged attacker anyway. So maybe it'd mess her up more if I got in close. Extremely not. It did not make a difference. Alright, well, stick a fork in me. We're done. You gave it a good try, cowboy. Just kill me. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, it's just a virtual battle, so it's not game over. Let me try and fight a rando instead. Because I'm pretty sure these we can win without much trouble. Seems like I'm gonna need to grind to get some money and upgrade my everything for a bit. All right, we go for the rifle. Let's break this armor. Hmm, I could close in enough to pit the punch. Or I could just rifle burst again. Yeah, let's split the damage a little bit. And then I can put up the cactus guard. But Well, if you're just gonna put yourself in a corner, I'll take that invitation, friend. Cowboy, annihilate him. That one's obviously kind of just supposed to be an easy dub, <laughs> if you need it.
All right. Uh, find all cat. No, I think um, I think we wrap up the day with that. And hope that enough money comes in that I can afford some newer stuff for our next fight. All that crap about the total mix, that's what gets me. Right. We already resurrected this robot once. I'm not sure we can do it twice. Uh, of course we can do it twice. Believe. Careful, Catman. If we lose this big guy, I'm not up for getting another one. We got one shot at this. Don't worry, wizard. We're gonna make it. I sure hope so. Come on, wizard. We'll pull off a miracle like we always do. This day will end and never come back, just like your youth. Are you sure? Yes. Another one goes in the discard pile. Wrap it up, folks. Tomorrow is another day. Day by day. You guys ready for the big surprise? Spill it, kid. Our next opponent is actually a big movie star. What? What? That's right. His mech is a Joe. A Joe? You mean from the movie, Joe? Oh, G.I. Joe Rebels, my yes, favorite. They even got an animated series now. <laughs> also, his pilot was a stunt double for the real thing. The original Joe is kept in a museum, so the one we'll be facing is a replica. Actually, going from stuntman to giant mecha pilot makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I like that. There's a lot of merchandise for the Joe franchise. Toys, games. You in the movie? Joe is always an underdog who must climb through impossible ranks and defeat a dirty rival. Well, that explains how he was able to keep his underdog image. Yes, but we'll so be the dirty rival. Is this mech strong? Because all I'm hearing is just some big talk. True. Oh, he's strong for real. His pilot is called Stray, and he's been a professional pilot for seven years. It's another furry, isn't it? We're talking about a guy who, ever since he ranked, he only... I don't get it. Why doesn't he go for the big prize like everyone else? Maybe it could be a publicity stunt for the movie. You know, ah. a super contract? Yeah, right, dude. Joe's ranked 250 in the movie, so... All right, all right, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What have we got on actual got. data? Joe was made famous by his boxing fight style. I will listen to the actual information that Peepoo gives us. The color commentary, not so much. Stray is really serious about this. No one will deliver a jab like this guy. Okay. His footwork is amazing, and his close range attacks are devastating. Gotcha. We shouldn't let this guy get too comfortable. He's a brawler for sure. Well, so are we. So it could just be fists flying Indeed. both ways. This guy looks fairly experienced. Also, Stray's got a huge fan base. So don't expect the crowd to be on our side. Cool. Hey, that just means they'll all be betting against us. This is gonna be awesome, dude. Maybe if you beat oh, I... Why would you? Cowboy's right over there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he could be himself. No way! Dude. That's why they all suck. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like moving? I drink, I sleep. A stare into space. That's very depressing, Duke. You're a sad. I never thought I'd say this, but Peepo, I agree. Next up, Joe and the Stray. Er, the Joe and Stray. Kind of reminds me of Megalobox. Looks a little like uh, old Gearless. End of day fifteen. Oh shit, one day to Joe? Okay. That's kind of short notice. I spoke with Stray's manager. And we got a fight. Tomorrow. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Knife is all excited. Duke's like, oh god, why? <sighs> Another freaking tight schedule? Crap. Why can't we just take our time for once? Because we gotta win it big. Is it too much to ask for a week? Yes. But then I won't be around anymore. No worries, dude. We can deal with that. This is a good thing. We'll get some rest after everything is over. What about my weekends? Screw your weekends. Okay, my only task is just try to find cats. Noted. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nebraska should have money for us. Hey, Shado, 
That omelet was a blast. We sold it all. Four pieces for 25 each. Nice. Four pieces. Hell yeah, dude. I hope it helps with Cowboy. Crap, kid. Any help we can get is perfectly welcome. Awesome. I help too, by me. Here's our winnings. Okay, six hundred hundo dollars. That's extremely not going to be enough, though, so I guess we have to go grinding podcasts for a little bit. I'm getting prepared for... Hey, Shay. Oh. If you got some time, I'd like to show you something. Sure thing, Nebraska. What is it? Check it out. A flyer? The Arcade Paradise? What's that? Seems like a real old-school arcade. It's missing the address, though. An arcade store? I thought those were extinct. Hmm. Maybe. Or maybe we're talking about one of the last arcades in the USSA. I mean, they're kind of a dying breed now. Can't be. I Did remember, you find anything else? I remember going to one called, like, Nickel City back when I lived in the Bay Area. And God, that was a fun time. So many just soft quality arcade machines, and they all just cost a nickel. Looked like it was kind of on the outs, though, so I don't know if it's still around. Hmm. A little Where sad to think about. This? Near the Rambler and Gambler? Come on, let's check it out. It's quest time! <laughs> Pass, get it! Yep, Arcade Paradise. Oh yeah, do we have... Ooh, money! Very nice. Alrighty, Rambler and Gambler. This here was the exact spot. Sometimes in the I middle of the road. Memory. Yeah, I'm never mistaken about that kind of thing. Well, let's have a look around. I envy people with a photographic memory. I do. Damn, the arcade was not under a. Wait a minute. Why can I check this? Are these Kaizuka trees? Never thought I'd be seeing these so far from home. Except it wasn't home. Nothing here. Hey, look! Somebody dropped 7RD! How lucky! Nice! Grab it! <laughs> we are perpetually broke. <laughs> Is that a... No, never mind. Maybe... Inside the trash can? That would be dumb. But... Yeah. I wonder what he thought he no. saw, though. Is there any chicken? <laughs> chicken in a trash can. Yeah. We're not in a beat em up. It's been a while. I don't think we'll find anything here. We'll just inquire at the store. Tried looking it up online? I did. But I got nothing except for emulation sites and stuff. It's not an uncommon name for anything game related, really. Yeah. Also, this flyer seems so old school. I doubt they'd have an online address or any socials. So they're probably not going to survive, is what you're saying. No. Maybe we should look somewhere else. Let's go! Search around the bus stop? Where is the bus stop again? I think that was on the way to Z's? Yeah, yeah, right here. Now this bus stop looks suspicious. Now that's every bus stop. You get used to it after a while. I was hoping to find a new flyer or something. There's an awful lot of maps here. I mean, maps are good. Yeah, nothing. By the way, have you ever seen a bus around these parts? Right? It's I weird. I don't think so. Oh, hey, it's a cat. Pet the cat. Your hand dives into a forest of soft fur. All your worries go away. Pat, pat, pat. Seems Charlie likes you. He'll let you keep your hand. Thank you, Charlie. I appreciate it. Wait. Wait, what? Reduce debt. <laughs> okay. Sure, we have a cat now. Hey, look at that, a praying mantis. That must mean good luck. In what universe does that mean good luck? Trash can? Hmm, look at that. Oh, that's an Everett figure. 
Hell yeah, let's sell it. Looks like it's in a good state. You should keep it. Nice. Oh. Damn, I wanted money. I don't think we'll find anything else around here. Yeah. Seems like it. Onward to the next spot. What's she feeling next? The bar. Okay. A fortune cookie seller. We should get one. Maybe it'll help with our quest. It takes a special kind of idiot to trust in a fortune cookie, Nebraska. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, come on, Shado. Eh. I mean, we did pick up seven dollars earlier, so it's basically free. Fuck it. Look, that's exactly the amount we found on the street. That's gotta mean something. I hate, I hate that you're calling that out. Let's do this. <laughs> Never take a dump with the toilet lid down. Thank you, Fortune Cookie. Very insightful. What the heck? Maybe we should look in the bathroom. Maybe the Midnight Riders bathroom. Why are you like this, this Nebraska? Is getting weird. But you know what? I'm here for it. Do, do, do. Hey, cowboy. You still looking for a gig? Sure. Someone dropped a massive bomb in one of my toilets. Oh, God damn it. Toilet clearing minigame? It's ugly. I couldn't fix it. Maybe you can do something about it. Oh, well, maybe that's what the cookie was talking about. Go for it, Shade. <laughs> Shade's like, I've lost control of my life. The hell is going on? You're continuing to be the universe's chew toys, what it is. I'm... Wait, I don't actually have an option to interact... Do I have to talk to her to start it? Oh, bathroom issue. You up for it? Let's go, Shado. Well, good luck out there. Time for the classiest bit of content I've ever produced. Toilet unclogging minigame. While somebody pisses right next to it. Great. Oh, God, Shade, no! Not like this. Not like this. Oh god. Jade, you must free yourself! Is that a dog? Hey! Thanks for that, brother. I was kinda having a hard time out there. How? No. I... No. 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 Nope, I'm not questioning this. What the hell were you doing inside the seat? It's not like Shade I is, went though. In on purpose. I'm just too compact, I guess. But thanks for saving me. Well, to tell you the truth, it wasn't so bad. Kind of warm and cozy inside. Great. Please never speak to me again. I wouldn't mind two or three more hours in. That can be arranged. Rules. Hey anything about this flyer would you <laughs> now nebraska just because he smells like he's been in a toilet does not mean that he's a gamer oh, that's a very offensive very stereotype nice. of course <laughs> i'm a regular there want to get there right now come on i'll show you the way okay so the toilet dog and is going to show us are. the way to the arcade now, we just gotta wait for the bus isn't this line dead? Oh, I guess it's dying, kinda, very slowly. But it's still functional for all I know. Okay. We just gotta wait for a while. Kinda hot today, isn't it? I'd like to point out that this dog was just inside a toilet. I'm gonna go ahead and take a nap. Wake me up when the bus is here. Sure. And he's just so unconcerned. Smell, hygiene, anything. He's just, he's just vibing. I hate it. I really do. It's here! Well, didn't take too long this time around. Huh? <laughs> Get dunked, idiot. Now you can go back in the toilet you love so much, Charlie boy. Wow. <laughs> 
color me surprised. What's that? New customers? Cool. Oh, they got a Mankind Neca. Ah, the captain of the arcade. Reporting for duty, sir. Oh, hi, sir. We came from far away just to find this place. It's amazing. Why, well, thank you, little lady. Name's Cap. God damn it. I try to make a bit, and then the game just... I swear to God, I haven't played this game before. <laughs> well, make yourselves at home, why won't you? Thanks! Take your time while you can. This arcade is open for a few more weeks. Then I'll be closing shop. What? Oh. No! Truth is, things ain't going so well, kid. Don't know what I'm doing wrong, or... Maybe you could put your address on your flyers? I guess ever since home consoles were invented, we lost our ground in the market. Arcades are dying everywhere. We were just lucky to last this long. That's I really suppose. Sad. Nah, that's just the way it's supposed to be, child. Old things must die and give place to new stuff. But that doesn't mean you should throw out old things that are reliable. Maybe this is just something I've started thinking since I've been getting older, but... Not everything old needs to be tossed out. You know, throwing the baby out with the bathwater kind of thing. A lot of old things suck and should go, but some old things were around and reliable for a reason. The cycle of life. Screw that, old man. What do you <laughs> need to keep your doors open? What? I need a miracle. I'm so deep in debt. You could call my boat a U-boat. Not a problem. Shane. What? Shane, we barely have enough money to keep our own operation running. What are you doing? How much are we talking about? I can't disclose my... Let's make a partnership. You call the shots, just promise me you'll keep this place alive. Shane, what are you doing? Are you a crazy son of a beach? What kind of proposal is that? I got ways, Cap. Trust me on this one. I can't even tell your ass from your face. Where the hell you come from? This is too sudden. Buy me dinner first. <laughs> what? That can be arranged, Cap. But no, seriously, Shade, what the hell are you doing? A few hours later. Alright, alright. Just shut your blazing traps for a sec. I'll give it some thought. That's a big decision. I can't make this jump on the fly. I may be old, but I'm not senile, so. That's good. That's good Gosh, you're thinking about young it. Young folks nowadays, you just don't give up, do you? Never. <laughs> <laughs> I think all my prayers were answered. You see, this place might not look like much, but it's all I have. Sure, and at his age, probably wouldn't be easy to start over. This is something I built with blood, sweat, and tears. Me and Big Sis. May God rest her soul. Uh. I had such great times here. I was struggling to sell it off for a couple of pennies. We're gonna but turn it around somehow. Man. Well, let's make an agreement. My terms. It won't be anything but fair to you. But before we sign in blood, I need to know why the hell are you helping me? An excellent question. I can't trust a stranger out of the blue. You don't go signing anything like that. That's dumb. It takes more than that to fool old Cap here, son. So you better have a reasonable reason for this crazy offer of yours. I'm hard to convince. So do your very best. I just like arcades. It's uh, a unique experience that's dying nowadays. Wouldn't have expected that from you, Shade. If I can help you blow some life into it, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Okay. Neil. Huh. That wasn't hard at all. I don't care about what you do. <laughs> I'm all out of cash and ideas. He's tried Just nothing and he's out of ideas. I'm gonna keep the soul of my business. We could use more machines, staff, and well, even some fancy decoration around here. But listen up. It ain't about money, punk. This is about the kids. I mean, it's a business. It's about absolutely about money. This place represents. You'll see me dead and gone before this becomes a business of milking clients and fooling kids. That can be arranged. Don't worry, old man. We'll keep your paradise intact. You better. I ain't got nothing to lose. 
I could spend my last few oh, years damn. in jail for stabbing a man and feeding his balls to the dogs. All right. Noted. Noted. My partner tried to kill me in every way she could. So I know what works and what doesn't. Crushed by an arcade machine would be a poetic death. <laughs> but hit and run, poisoning and choking with a chunk of food are far more efficient. All right. What happened to your last partner? She's on a permanent vacation. No, I mean really. Oh. My sister is a beach bartender in the Bahamas. Had a nice life. She never liked the city. That old ass heck. Well, huh. it's a deal then. Let's make this place worth calling paradise once again. Sure. You can count on that. You can now visit Arcade Paradise on any day by taking the bus. Here you'll be able to buy new machines, hire staff, and make the place shine. Receive RD in a time basis, so make sure to come by and collect trash. Time to go. Huh. Okay. Wait, is there already money? Give. Okay. Buy one machine. Huh. I'm curious how much this could bring in. Fix the ugly wall. That's probably a good first step. Gotta make it seem welcoming. What about staff, Cap? Things are looking good. I can already see the improvements you made. Good job, sailor. Uh... I'm a little cautious about dumping too much into this, but... I could... Why was there an invisible wall there? That was odd. Let's try investing a little bit. Time to go. Nope, stay. Because I have 2200. Let's buy a machine. Because if, if it's going to give me $200 when I've done literally nothing to it, if I dunk a little more money into it, I assume it should start paying out more. No, 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 not Nebraska. The uh, machine. Time to go. All right. Please let that not have been a waste of 700 real dollars. Please. Okay. Now that's everything done. Wait. The crapyard, all right. I still do have a giant mecha fight tomorrow, so... I'll do a couple rounds of junk hunting at uh, old bounty hogs. And then we'll move on to that fight. Because I think I'm a little overpowered for the uh, point of the game that I'm at. Because I did do some grinding and got the cowboy up to snuff, but the main thing I'm concerned about is my healing skills. Uh, crap. Is a junk hunt or junk mining that's the good one? Junk hunt is the good one. Noted. Come on, give me the easy ones. I'll just go in order here. Because movement time is also a fact. I need to get not hung up on the environment too much. I will skip over the big one, because... That one's tricky. To say the least. This is going pretty well so far. Alright, now let's spam it. No, 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 get it out, get it out, okay. We got 11. Hey, there we go. Ooh, I even got a pineapple. Alright, so we're gonna grinding podcast for a little bit, I think. Let me, uh, let me give that fine pineapple I just got to old Fancy Jack. A pineapple? Okay, I guess. Hey, ever since I ate that pineapple of yours, something really weird started happening to me. I woke up this morning with a six-pack. Godly pineapple, bud. Here, take this as a thank you. Oh, we got a new movie. 
Your relationship with Fancy Jack got stronger. Help! And if I can earn a pineapples from doing this... Sure! This is now a junk hunt stream. <laughs> Although soon, the only grinding I'll have the patience for is uh, in Pokemon. <laughs> I could probably make a lot more of my grinding for Pokeboomers on stream this time around because, uh, you know, I've got just a little bit more time on my hands these days than past seasons. Just a teensy tiny bit. Okay, I just got junk. I'll grind it to, let's say, 4k. And call it good there. Just to make sure we're totally fine for Joe. Because I definitely feel like Star for, like... They're giving me lots of options, which I appreciate, but it seems like the power is scaling up kind of quickly, and I'm just worried I'll be left behind the curve compared to the enemies they throw at me. You get me? Luckily, with the... Oh. Okay. Uh, just, just one more. Just, just one more. We, we can get a little more money as a treat. And I do have the arcade generating money for us now, too, so... That's gonna help. These little ones I can basically just button mash now, it's great. If I could get another upgrade to this mode, it'd be absolutely just top class. I'd be able to probably max out the minigame. Yeah, even these big ones aren't that bad anymore. Because I think they give me more credit than the little ones. Haha! -ha! Snuck one in at the end. Alright, that ought to do it. I'll head back to home base, show show the talent the new movie, see if it inspires him to have a new stance. I'm hoping I can eventually move away from the ammo moves, because... I really don't like having my defense slots, like one of them always taken up by a reload. It seems really inefficient. Let us watch a movie. The Stray Dog. Fitting. Something fitting for the cowboy. Well, that was awesome, dude. Crap, cat man. What a piece of crap. Duke, you just hate everything. Ooh, new stance hunter. What does that do? Uh, hunting is an art. To hunt is to become the prey, to understand how it feels, to understand its needs so much that you don't even want to hunt it anymore. Deal damage from mid-distance. Loves for hit for more than a hundred damage. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Actually, I might go with Defender, because it does give me more of a morale boost. And, like, I always open with Cactus Guard. And then it can just kind of charge up passively. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the best move. What is a heavy head crown? Not something I want to be using. Noted. I am going to drop a save, just in case. But usually, Z comes in at the last minute. With some kind of crazy crap that completely resets... Here I am talking like Duke. Uh, resets my priorities for what I want to spend money on. So, we'll call it a day. Too, ben. Finishing preparations for tomorrow. I sure hope so. <laughs> Come on, it's too damn late. I'm calling it a day. Alright, Duke. So, it's tomorrow then. Oh, is tomorrow her last day? It won't buy so fast. Oh. I wish I could be here with you guys a little more. It's been fun. <sighs> what is it, kid? Why did you leave us? 
Where's that coming from? I've been meaning to ask you for the last four years. Their situation is still kind of ambiguous. Like, I assume she was the kid from a previous relationship of that one lost love he talked about. It but... wasn't easy, you know that? I know. Things were not the way they used to be anymore. You and Mom were falling apart? We just figured we had different goals, that's all. That can happen. But why did you leave out of the blue? I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. You were my best friend. The only person in the world who got me at that time. And then, all of a sudden, you just vanished. It felt as if you died in some accident. Mm. And Mom, she... She tried to contact you for a while. You just kept ignoring it. This is a little bit different than the story he told. I mean, what the hell is wrong with you, Shade? I just wanted some kind of closure. Since you've been gone... I've lost someone I really cared about. And I tried hard to erase you real hard. But I can't forget shit! I can't escape these memories! The perfect moments, all the laughing, and the crying. I remember every second of it. I mean, she basically had her surrogate father run out on her. What's gonna fuck a kid up? I just can't help but compare what I've become to what I was. And I figure I was happier when you were around. Kid. I'm not a kid anymore, Shay. I'm so lost right now. Living on autopilot. Where is this coming from? Because she seemed so upbeat before. Is this... Was she just putting on an act before? Now that I've been here with you guys... It felt like drowning this whole time. But now... Now I can finally breathe again. I'm not blaming you for the way things turned out. I... I missed you so much. After you were gone... I was back to being a weirdo again. You always said we were the cool kids. <laughs> but that wasn't true. I just... I just can't figure out the right way to live. Mm. I mean, you're young. You got time to figure it out, Nebraska. I just make mistake after mistake. And I keep chewing on it, rewinding the past in my head over and over every second of it. I'm so tired. Everyone keeps saying, I'm so young. But this is just a phase. Fuck. Fuck, she got me. <laughs> I was I was basically just saying that shit. All I wanted was to have another ice cream with you. And laugh my heart out like we used to do. One more good time is never enough. It's never enough. I have been there, kid. Having that one more time is never good enough. Never. Say something. You think that's gonna be true, but no. <sighs> you still got bits and pieces of your mother right there. <sighs> I don't know, Neb. The way you remember it, sure, we had great times, but I was also tripping over my mistakes over and over again. I'm just living day after day after day. I'm numb all the time. That's basically the same thing she just said. I'm not really here. I don't really care about mechs or if we lose or not. I'm just trying to enjoy the moment. Trying to feel something again. I ran away because that's what I do when I can't cope with stuff anymore. Hmm. I couldn't bear interfering with your life and your mother's. Didn't really sound like it was interference, though maybe she saw it another way. The mom, that is. It scared the hell out of me. I'm not as tough as I look. I did some messed up things in the past. I screwed it up, I got dirt under my skin, and I can't seem to get rid of it. I like that imagery, dirt under my skin. Most of the time, I'm bored to hell. But coming here, doing these stupid chores, spending time with those jerks, it's like having a vacation from what I really am. Hmm. And I know this is going to end soon. I don't want to go back to where I was, but I sure as hell don't know where to go. If I could do just one thing in this messed up world, it would be to keep you happy, safe, 
on this kind of life. Yeah, the trouble is your life looks exciting to her, doesn't it? I haven't it? been happy, Shade. Either way, I thought if I break away from your lives, at least you would be free from my mistakes. I always wished you well from afar. There's so much I can do. Do you mean there's only so much? You're a coward. I came all the way here, all alone, not knowing if you'd still be the same. I was shaking all along, shivering with my stupid thoughts. But I came here, despite all that, because I like you, and I like being with you. You didn't have the guts to do this. Not for me, and not even for yourself. That's how I am, Neb. I don't like meddling with other people's free will. That sounds like an excuse to me. I prefer to leave them alone. Even if you miss them like hell? They're better off without me. To be a young kid confronted by an adult self-loathing. I've been there. Yeah, I've been there. You're unbelievable! <sighs> hell are you laughing about? You're so damned angry, Neb. I can see Sherry all over you. Sherry, not Cherry? Oh, is she you French? You owe her an apology. I owe lots of apologies to lots of people, Neb. And I've apologized. In my own way, I did it. I didn't let go of you because I was scared. I did it because I wanted to protect you. You and your mother. From all the shit that I have done. We haven't gotten a whole lot of detail about this, though. Like, he got beat up by those two gangsters at the beginning, but... Redemption isn't really working for me. I got too high of a price to pay. The game's telling me rather than showing me, like... What is he running from? I just hope you can understand that. Give me some inkling besides just he used to be a Yakuza. I don't. You're still mad? I don't know what you want me to say. But sure as hell, I don't want you to be sad or mad. If you want to stay here, that's your choice. But know that this safe haven will be falling apart. When everyone is done, they'll be back again on their tracks. That's just how life works. There's no journey without an end. I wanted to keep you from that. So that's how life works, but you wanted to keep her from that? You're not even making sense within your own metaphor, Shane. You don't have to. Then let's make the best of this time. I'm in for some ice cream. Things are never gonna be the way they were. Are they? No, they won't. But if you don't take your head out of the sand to see what's going on right now, you'll be missing so much more. Fine. I'm in for some ice cream. Eat away the feelings. Strawberry? I guess some things never change. Strawberry ice cream's a good call. Hey, Ty! Look at these guys. They're eating ranks like cupcakes. <laughs> Delicious. That looks troublesome. We're getting behind. They'll be facing Joe tomorrow. That asshole Stray? Yeah, man. Talk about a pain in the ass. What's in it for us? Oh, we could hitch a ride on this rank-eating train. All aboard, bro. Are we going to finally get a challenge from someone lower ranked? Sounds interesting. Never seen a mech like this one. What's it called again? The Cowboy. Cowboy. All right, introducing some new players, huh? Cowboy versus Joe. First and foremost, I gotta take the bus, go to the arcade, check on our profits, and right, hope folks, I've made my money back. Today, we kick some movie star ass. Y'all better not take this lightly. Don't worry, dude. We'll be doing our best for sure. We'll be checking in earlier than usual today. Why, dude? Seems like Hog's Arena is getting too small for our huge ego. Oh? What crap are you talking about? We're gonna hit the city tonight. Backbiters Arena. Get ready for bigger crowds, people. Hopefully bigger profits? Wow! And hopefully bigger profits? Shay, and hopefully bigger profits? Just call in ZZ once we're ready. Joe's a really awesome movie, dude. I won't give any spoilers, though. You gotta watch it for <laughs> yourself. All right. So, I'm gonna check on the arcade, see how we're looking for money, and if things seem okay, 
Then I'll call in ZZ and take a look at how the uh, money looks like. To the arcade! God damn it. Wait, didn't I? I bought some machines. What the hell, man? Things are looking good. I can already. Add some art? Uh. Man, I don't know about that. Some of those trainings are really expensive. Maybe there'll be more money for us after the fight. Boy, I really hope so. Okay, let me look again at the training, because I definitely at least want to buy... Hmm. Opponent info, counter armor defenses, known stance brawler. Uh, I definitely want to buy some better healing. Double overload and cool off resurrect target unit. Yeah, we definitely need a better res. Um, let's see, what can we have... Oh wait, Call of Duel requires ammo? Ooh, that's eh. Just keep on smiling. It's bound to make someone uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want seven star bullet punch. Because there's no cooldown on that. It's delicious. Charge in, trample on, and then we'll take it higher. Consume some powder. I'm gonna assume that's a reference of some kind. Oh! Night Eater. There we go. Better rifle burst. Yeah, that's... that's required. That is absolutely required. Um... Okay, so I want to spend 3100... Uh, 4100 shit. I'm not gonna have enough money to spend on everything. Let's see, what are our current moves? Yeah, pistol. Yeah, pistol punch is starting to be kind of eh. It does let me attack at range, but. Cactus Guard's still pretty decent. And I guess I could maybe get by with Wizardry Protocol, so... Okay. Let me try it and see if there's enough money as is. I am nervous, but... I'll give it a go. It's witch time. Ready to call the witch in? Okay, people. It's witch time. What you got for us, D? I love that it does a cutting. Always, Annie Z coming in with the last minute goods. Bless. Let's get this show on the road. I got some news for you. What's up? What's good? Fighting a movie star is a good move. I'm yeah. impressed by how get a little you guys are managing these fights. I just don't get why you keep interlacing with this stupid pig. Hey, I can hear you, you old ass hag. Oh, hey, he's here. Uh, how'd you like my last gift, you fat ass bastard? <laughs> that insignificant fart of a bomb. It lacked <laughs> elegance. Well, it fitted you perfectly. You ain't got the best of me yet, you. All right, all right. Calm down, oh, calm down, please, kids. Peggy, don't even get me started. She said she had news. Oh boy, busy night, ain't it? 
Just give me the word when you're ready to bust some metal. I don't mind giving you guys a ride to the city. Eventually, I'll have to drive fancy, boys. So let's have one hell of a trip, right? Hell yeah. What's up, Jack? Hey, you gotta keep an eye out for Knife. Things are getting big. The stress level will reach new heights. Yeah, I'm always gonna take care of the talent. He'll need proper psychological support to deal with all the pressure. Anyways, good luck there tonight. Since I'm around, Thanks, I'm gonna Jack. do some industrial espionage. If you get me. Sure, sure, sure. Marvel at our superior technology and teamwork. Okay, but seriously, Z, did do you not? Fighting a movie. I'm hey, uh, do it. Uh, fighting a movie. I'm Damn it! Uh, uh, okay, junk shop. She said she had news for us, but apparently that was a lie. Uh let's off the garbage I don't need. I don't think I need this anymore. No. Did I not want this? Uh. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I need that anymore. Okay, do you have any new parts? How do you have the mini bar? Um. I'm rocking the Joe OS. Um. Okay, so there's actually not that much more that I need then. Because I'm rocking the Joe engine. The Echo engine might be a good one to go for because my healing does recharge a little slowly. So I'm going to keep that in mind. And anything new or worthwhile out of these? What am I rocking for frames? Yeah, those are pretty good. Okay. Sure. Then let me get... Err... Uh, Echo Engine. And... Whoop. Nope, not that one. And then let's uh, do some new training protocol. Oh wait, warm up? What does that mean? Breast transplant. Oh, I definitely want the, um... Yeah, Night Eater. Night Eater is a lot better than Rifle Burst. Hmm... It'd be nice to have something else that's at range, but I don't really like... OTR and Ribbon is a ranged attack. Yeah. And we're fighting a brawler, so I may as well have close range moves. Um, I really haven't been able to... Uh... Does warm-up mean I need to, like, charge? I don't think I like that. I think I just want to go for pure damage. But first, um... Wizardry Protocol Mark II... And then... AP might be really good to have. So let's have this as the off healing move. And then... This is better than Slug Reload. So I may as well take the slate up... The straight upgrade. Okay, let me equip the new skills and see where that leaves me. Um, we want the Night Eater. We want... Oh, I forgot about seatbelts locked down. Reload. Is Cactus Guard... Yeah, Cactus Guard is good. Boom, Mark II. And then Reflex Protocol. So then the... So we've got a solid ranged attack. We've got the Revolver Punch, but that does have a cooldown, so I need a just spammable melee move for when I'm close in in person. Um, shit, that basically leaves the 7-star Bullet Punch. 
Can I sell off anything else at the junk shop? Yeah, sell off the Joe engine. I'm just barely short. Ah. Could do the well done punch? I don't know what warm up implies, and I'm a little worried to find out. So I might stick with pistol punch for now. And we'll build up to the seven star bullet punch. Because that one's really good. Okay. I don't need any more parts. I've got the best I can. Oh, could I do like a quick virtual? I could do a quick virtual battle and earn money that way. Yes, yes, yes. I'll do a quick virtual battle, earn money to get the seven star bullet punch, and then we'll go in there. It's flawless. <laughs> oh, that's a new opponent. It's not the pudding eater or whatever. Okay, that's still not that bad. Let's do a full charge. Get ready to full send it. Do the Night Eater. Oh, that is beautiful! <laughs> and then we do a Cactus Guard. And that lets me charge because they're attacking my, uh, my shield. He's backing off, huh? Okay. I can play this game. Let me use up the rest of my ammo against you. And now you're wide open, friend. Finish him. Give it up, trash. Congratulations, trash. Thanks, announcer. Do you have to be so mean all the time? Seventy-five. Okay, I guess I'll need to win one more. <laughs> Fine. Bring it on, Joe Unicorn. This one is the one that went down real easy, I think. Oh yeah, this is the same model that we'll be fighting in the story, I believe. Interesting. Go at him full force. Bust through that armor. Delicious. And of course, put up that cactus guard. That holy shield has knockback, huh? Yeah, I think this guy is just like a weaker representation of what I'll be facing in the story before too long. Okay, so I fade back to here. Bust through that chest armor. Then close in and give him hell. A decent beating, if I do say so myself. And I do. Okay, it busted through the armor, but it let me defend again, so... Oh, and I can even... Hmm. Now, let me just close in. Give him that revolver! Hmm. Nice one, Trash. 
And I'm kind of rethinking my defender stance choice. Because the info we've got on him says he excels at dealing with armor. So I'm expecting, basically expecting a mech that fights similar to how I've been running the cowboy. So... What other stances I got? Uh, hit for more than 100 damage. That's going to be kind of tough to pull off. Loves hit for more than 100 damage. Yeah, I think I just gotta go for Brawler and try and, like, finish it quick like I've been doing. Ideally have been doing. Alright, the 7 star bullet punch. This is not a punch. This is a masterpiece. Oh, it does take 2 AP. So I'm not really gonna be able to spam attacks. Uh, but I do have an AP heal. So it ought to work out. I think it'll be fine. Drop a fresh save. Now that I have spent literally all our money. Well, almost all our money. Duke, thoughts? Dog's gonna give us a lift to the arena. Apparently, city folks don't like 75 meter tall giant robots walking over their home. It does tend to decrease the property values, I hear. So, how are we doing this? I got a huge ass truck. That's how, son. <laughs> so you don't worry about that. Thanks, Hog. How did you transport Cowboy for that fight against Wormageddon? They sent us a couple of helicopters, dude. Choppers? Wow. Classy. <laughs> Cost us an arm and a leg, though. Yeah. Night, how I'm you a feeling? Bit nervous, dude. Feels like it's gonna be huge. Nah, this is your stage. Joe Stray's just the opening act, knife. You got don't this. Don't worry about it. Just do your best out there. You're gonna be fine. I don't know about that. I don't care what, what the robot thinks. Is it bad if I cheer for Joe just a tiny bit? Yes. Let's roll! All right, you sons of pork and beans, fasten up your seatbelts, and don't mind if I go too damn fast. When I was in World War II, they called me Spitfire. That's not true. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Just how old? I'm still young enough to kick your ass, junk boo. <laughs> Good. Ready? Good answer, bounty hog. Ready for the hog ride. Next stop. Oh god, he brought the goat. <laughs> Sounds like he drove very safely. Alright, royalty-free gearless Joe, you're going down. Ah, uh, here we go again. That's not the voice I expected, but okay. Alright, noob, let's make this quick. I got a hot bathtub waiting and champagne in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, yeah, he's looking quite strong. Let's see, Nightier can hit three to four away. So I just need to move two more to get him in range. Let me bust through that armor. Hmm, I do have another AP, but I can't really make use of it. I may have made a mistake with this whole strategy. Guess I could always back off and reload. No, he probably has some bullshit charge. Let's just put up the cactus guard. Get prepared. Alright, Stray, what have you got? Yep. Look at those hit points go. Damn. Okay. All right, so I can just go in guns blazing here a little bit, or I could hang back and try and break armor a little more. I don't have the heal recharge yet.
Hmm. Yeah, let's let's apply some pressure. Well, no. Not just yet. Let's make him work for it. Night Eater. And I still have my taunt up, so. Do a reload. Just in case we need it again. If I do this, I'll end the turn right up in his grill, so I'm good where I'm at. Mm, okay. You got some nice moves going on there. Why don't you just challenge someone in the upper ranks? You didn't hear it from me, man, but I gotta keep this position for a couple of months until our next movie's fully released. <laughs> I wish I could just bash everyone on my way like you, but, well, I got bills to pay. I see. It was exactly as Nebraska thought, huh? Okay, how bad is... How bad is his melee hit? Pretty bad. Nothing I can't handle, though. Okay, so I can... His armor's busted, and he didn't heal, so... I think I can actually get a kill this turn. I close in. Seven-star bullet punch to his chest plate. And then, we reflex protocol to heal up our shield. That's cheating, trash. Shut up, announcer. And let's finish him with the revolver punch, the signature move of the cowboy. Congratulations, trash. Nothing to it. Only 750 bucks? God damn it. The spirit of boxing burns within. Knife will spend the night watching Golden Era anime. Knife Leopard learned the Salt Stance. Okay. Another one for Team Cowboy. Nice one. Hey, I like the sound of that. Team Cowboy it is then. That works. We just beat up a movie star today. Talk about amazing. I mean, a movie stunt man. Let's be real. I thought you didn't care about that. Come on, cat man. That man was worldwide famous. Big reputation. And the kid just kicked his ass. <laughs> Never trust an actor. Most people get paid to pretend. As a former actor, yeah. Show my ass. He couldn't last 10 minutes against the real underdog. Hey, why, why is this place so empty? Where'd everyone go? You guys got here too late. It's almost morning. Oh, crap. Here we are. The heroes of Rain City, <laughs> no one around to sing of our glorious victory. I'm your Huckleberry. Who the hell are you? Name's Tiger. I came all the way here to challenge you guys. Ah, uh, here's our challenge from the lower ranks. Hell yeah. What the? Awesome! You put up a good fight tonight, but I really want to see how you perform against my boombox. Jazz bass. <laughs> And don't even think about running away. This is an irrefutable official challenge. We gotta defend our new place. Official challenge? The hell is he talking about? Is that a thing? How do you think we've been getting fights, Duke? I'm in, dude. Bring it on. Oh, yeah. I'll bring it on for real, man. Just give it all you got. I'll do it, man. Don't you dare me. Give it my all. That's me. What the crap is going on here? Seems like we got our next opponent. About that. Just give me three days to prepare. Oh, for God's sake. Mm. Okay, dude. It's a deal then. We're gonna fight. We're gonna have to challenge someone so high up the rankings after this if we're doing a defense and we're wasting three days on this idiot. Well, at least we got some time. Yeah. Come on, we ain't thinking strategically here. We're acting unwise. All right, three days. Can keep it a little relaxed. Maybe drop some money on the arcade since uh, absolutely what Joe. And jazz bass? With my help. Turns out he's ranked 251, so he's one rank below us. Uh huh. What? 
Does it mean we're not getting anything from this fight? We'll get money. Chill out, wizard. Defending our rank is also part of the competition. Yeah, take a chill pill, dude. This is gonna be fun. Where the crap is my freaking money? <laughs> Eyes on the prize, that Duke. We'll get there in time. Also, it seems he got a score of nothing six against Dre's Joe. Oh, so we're gonna kick his ass. What? He lost to the star. Yeah. Six times in a row. And then he got turned down. What? Who the hell is this guy? A clown, apparently. He's awesome. We'll fill you in with more details tonight. We're still looking into him. Well done. Always good to have our intelligence team on the ball. We have a teenage girl and a malfunctioning potty mouth robot. What could be finer? Also, I don't think I need to make any repairs. It went... Hey, yo, Mr. Shea. Oh, what's up, Jack? I got your number from my uncle. He's on a three-day junk conference. Sure, that sounds real. Anyways, I was hoping we could hang out again some other time. I wanted some advice. But, hey, well, take your time. I'll be around until Uncle Hawk comes back. I like Jack. We'll go, we'll go see him. Yeah, everything is looking pretty tip-top shape. The cowboy. Hell yeah, all right. So on the, wait, where's, oh, did Nebraska leave and it was off screen? No, okay, she's just doing research. What's that? I gotta finish my homework. I was oh. watching it further down the road, but mom said I can't stay if I don't study properly. School's back tomorrow, so. You got a vacation in the middle of September? That is weird, right? Some kid set the school on fire. Oh. So we had a short recess until they fixed stuff. That's okay, though. I'll be using my laptop for the online classes. Got it all figured out. Some kids set the school on fire? Yeah. My school's filled with vandals, bullies, and hardcore delinquents. I'm glad I got out. If it's that kind of school, I'm surprised they have online classes. Almost feels like I'm on probation right now. <laughs> is it that bad? Shade. School is hell. <laughs> Spoken like someone who was recently in school. You can feel the emotion. Alright, uh, gonna take the bus from the crap yard. Head on over to the arcade, Paradise. I really like the little sprite of him sitting and waiting as the wind kind of ruffles his suit. God damn it, is that it? Things are looking good. Well, whatever. Since I don't really need a repair budget, I can probably be a, I can probably splurge a little bit here. First and foremost, we gotta buy some more machines. Though I thought there was gonna be something about hiring staff too. Can't afford that. That's out of reach. Eh, sure, we can add some more art. Make the place seem a little more welcoming, you know? We're just reinvesting into the business. Please, please, please start paying me more money. <laughs> we will turn this arcade around, goddammit. Oh yeah, what's the new... Assault? Uh, deal damage from... It's literally just attack and attack and attack. That's it. It's perfect. It's a bank robbery. I'm sorry you had to be taken by assault. <laughs> oh wait, no, I wanted to check in on Z. See how her niece was doing. Maybe I could perform another jank exorcism. What's up, Z? So you really sure? Once Show me the room. More into the fray, darling. Everything's gonna be fine, Z. Leave me alone, human. The power of Christ compels you, motherfucker. <laughs> I love it. The power of Christ compels you, motherfucker. You'll not defeat me. Okay, get your strength back. 
Ooh, demons fighting back. Bring it on, bitch. Woo! He's weak, see? This will be over soon. I hope you're right. I can't take this anymore. Zizi hands you a box of considerable weight. Inside it, you find a bike engine. Property of Bounty Hog. Zizi winks at you. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Is that an actual... Wait. Is it a gadget? Oh. Extra plus... Oh! Engine... Okay, maybe I could actually do the BDSM minigame. Which is just bicycle delivery. Calm down. I'll give it a try, because it's been a little bit of an albatross around my fucking neck. Just gotta go fast. Okay, I get 10 seconds for delivery now. Shit. I will perfect this minigame, dammit. You will succeed, there is no choice. Hop. Make a delivery. And go, go, go! Just gotta keep boosting. Keep boosting and praying that I get a good spawn on the obstacles. Double boost. Free boost, free boost. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're almost there, we're almost there. Just gotta keep moving. Dash, dash, dash. Yeah! Made it with time to spare. How the hell was that not the maximum rank? Okay, never mind. I'm done with that minigame forever. Sucks. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, Fancy Jack wanted to talk. It's going to be another advice scene, so it's probably going to be something a little heavy. I'm going to take a brief break um, and grab myself some water. Uh, and we shall come back and we will uh, we'll see what's on Jack's mind. He's a good lad. We'll see what we can straighten out for him. Be back in a bit.
Alrighty, I return. Alrighty, Fancy Jack. You need some sage advice from the wise Shade? Oh, hi Shade! Great fight yesterday night, man! So, how's your schedule today? You got a moment for some counseling? <laughs> Shade billed you $50 for spiritual healing. Still up for that? I told you, I ain't no lady killer. Yeah, I know, but who am I supposed to turn to? You could always ask Hog. Uncle? Did you see what a mess he's in? He's got kids all over the country. Oh, God. He's got enough ex-wives to assemble an army. Sorry to hear that? Sounds like an experienced fella to me. Nah, I want none of that experience. What do you want, Jack? You see, I'm old-fashioned. I like the damned romance. Yeah, I <laughs> want to stand together in the rain, hold hands, and all that bullshit. <laughs> That's what I want from me. I want it to play out like a K-drama. Oh god, a K-drama. You're too far gone, I can't help you, kid. You're into Korean stuff? Hell yeah! They're the best! They take things slowly. Though it seems like Korean mothers aren't exactly easy to handle. Though a lot of Korean shows are quite good. I need to watch more, honestly. You tell me. You're into that as well? Well, I can recommend you some stuff if you want to. Ain't you a box of surprises. <laughs> Hang out. There are good K-dramas, and there are better K-dramas. Oh god, Shade, this is literally the most fired up you've been for the entire game. Well, what about bad K-dramas? There's no such thing, Jack. <laughs> A K-drama has a moment, a context. Maybe you're just not in sync to really connect to it. Damn, you should take this stuff seriously. Seriously, like, he's always just, like, so laid back, but now he's into it, he's intense. But there's a catch, a specific structure that squeezes every drop from that concentrated K-drama juice. Do you have to say it like that? Wow. That is what I call the K-drama curve. It is divided in three stages, euphoria, tragedy, and recovery. They're making this a whole ass thing. Euphoria is the first stage, when the K-drama begins. We get to know the cast, and everything is delightfully funny. We get thrown in all kinds of amusing situations, but romance is just starting to develop. Comedy is more important, really. Sure. Oh, I see. Then we enter the tragedy phase. It starts as soon as the romance picks momentum. While love is blooming, unfortunate events are building up in the background. Everything goes wrong here. They break up, their parents are against it, they may get shot, whatever. <laughs> Bottom line is, there's got to be a proportional amount of bad shit going on, comparable to all previous laughter. Okay, I'm with you so far. Screenwriters might even try to kill one of the protagonists, but I never watched a K-drama that had the guts to do so. Is there one out there? What you gotta know is, the darker it gets, the better. Let those characters starve for any kind of hope. Make them desperately long for each other but none of them will give in. Oh, amazing! Hmm. After all the damage is done, and the audience simply can't take it anymore, it's time for the recovery stage. Here, the characters heal, and some of the mess so. is fixed. But remember this, Jack. They must never fully recover to the point of reaching euphoria again. It must never go back to how it was. It's important so intense. that some wounds are still there. <laughs> Hell! That sounds good! Yes, but don't get too obsessed with this shit. The most important don't thing for like a K-drama is to have a heart. If everyone involved is giving their all, then it's good, regardless of structure. You really know a lot about this stuff. How the hell did you get to know the world of Korean drama? He was very bored, and he's a nerd. I used to watch it with Sherry and Neb. At ah. first I was pushed into it. I thought it was a waste of time. So what about now? Jack. If there's one thing worth living for, it's K dramas. That's Korean dramas. <laughs> this game, it always keeps me guessing. It truly does. I. Alright then. I don't think I've looked for cats at uh, the junkyard, actually. Let me double check around here. Nope. Okay. Then I guess I just uh, end the day and kind of coast. 
If the guy we're fighting next lost six times in a row to Joe, the guy who I completely demolished, then I don't think I need to really worry about upgrades too much. So, I don't think I need to spend any money on the cowboy. Let's return back to home base and take it easy. How, how's the town? I'm glad we got some extra time to chill for a bit. Who said anything about you? Huh? <laughs> People who's like, more training! Which, like, good. You can, you can, well, you can definitely have too much training, but whatever. Three days for a fight that won't earn us anything. It'll earn us a little cash. This will be good in the long run, wizard. Yeah, but what about the bigger fish in the ocean? We can't waste our time with this small fry. He kind of has a point. We need to defend our rank once in a while. That's how the system rolls. Screw the system. I just want to keep my ass out of the water. <laughs> you should have thought about that before jumping neck in, wizard. <sighs> Don't you have something to do, cat man? Call Time it a to day. Check out, folks. Mara's another one. Do we have more data on our opponent? What's eating you, wizard? Oh. Mind your own business, cat man. Just asking. I'm too deep in this dirty pile of crap. Right. Who are they? They who? The crap are you talking about? Oh, the people that he owes money to. Who's got a grip on your tail? Are they threatening your mother? She's in a safe place, but I can tell they're sniffing around. Ah. Uh. So what are they? Mobsters? Loan sharks? The mortgage killers? What are we dealing with? Ah, uh, yes, the mortgage killers. I'm familiar with these as a former mortgage professional. <laughs> what are you up to, Catman? I just want to look into it. See what I can do. Yeah, he's got some criminal contacts, right? And what exactly can you do? Something. Sometimes it just scares me how I don't know shit about you. <laughs> you know me, wizard. There's nothing more to it. Mm, isn't there? I got my reasons to be here, Catman. God knows I wouldn't be around if it wasn't for this shitty situation. But kiddo, I bet he's just having a hell of a good time. But what's in it for you? Why are you sticking around this stupid mech? And also, good question. Girl. <sighs> I'm just swaying any way the wind blows. Nothing really matters. Anyone can see. Haven't got much more than this. You sound like GW. I guess I understand him now more than ever. Honest. The only thing that keeps me going is you guys. Oh. I'm surprised Duke will, <laughs> didn't say something like, Wasn't that nice, cat man, but it don't pay my bills, does it? Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. We got a full day of work ahead, trash. Oh, God, it's foam gun. Why are you? Just why are you? About time, cat man. You think this is some kind of crappy vacation? Hey, sounds like unemployment. <laughs> we got work to do. I'm on it, wizard. We got work to do. Free roam. No daily tasks today. Wow, crazy. How's that up? Homework? How's it going with your homework? Not so good, I guess. I thought it'd be a piece of cake since you got a great memory. Right? It doesn't work like that. I can only remember things about my life. Textbooks and all that boring stuff? I can't remember anything. Well, I mean, you're taking online classes. Just cheat. I see. Hey, Shade. What's the capital of Massachusetts? There's a capital in Massachusetts? Boston. Oh, you're right. You're looking it up online? Why don't you check it beforehand? Just wanted to see if you knew it. We should visit MIT one day. MIT? The Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Does she want to go there? The hell we be doing there? I don't know. See some technology stuff, I guess? <laughs> I had an acquaintance that wanted to go to MIT. I don't know if they ever made it. Hey, dude. 
Been thinking about getting a part-time job, helping with the expenses. Oh, please, please, God, please. I thought you were helping already. I was, but I ran dry. Duke's been covering for me since, but I'm not comfortable with that. What the hell are you talking about? We got our fight money. The fight money is not enough. Yeah, but that should go for Cowboy. I'll just have a look around town, see what I can find. Work for somebody we already trust, like Z or uh, Bounty Hog. Don't get caught up in something. That should be good for Donkey. Just make sure you and don't um. <laughs> All right, Duke, what's up? I guess I'm getting used to this crappy routine. What'd you do before this? Well, mostly gambling, I guess. Really? I see. Yeah, I'm not proud of it. I recall your father was a mechanic. That's right. Good old Scott. I learned a lot just by hanging out with him. He was a great man. Mm. I'm always impressed by people who can pick up that kind of stuff. My dad has a lot of mechanical knowledge too, but I never learned a goddamn thing about that. I have no aptitude for it. Whatever happened to him? Drunk driving. Uh, Hit a telephone pole when I was still in high school. Might be his biggest regret to have died in his favorite car. Destroyed for life. Not being able to fix it one more time. A true tragedy. I'm sorry, wizard. Don't be. He was also a great craphead when he was drunk. Fortunately, I'm able to hold my liquor. I mean, <laughs> I'm not even into the heavy stuff. Just a couple of beers, you know. That's a reasonable way to be. He was also a hell of a bad gambler. Oh, no. Yeah, I guess <laughs> I turned out to be more like him than I imagined. At least, you know, as a good friend of mine would say. Well, I guess we kind of lost contact. An old friend, then. All right, to the crap yard. First, check in on the old arcade. Hopefully, it'll have produced a little money. Fifty dollars. Things are looking good. I swear this is bugged. Like, didn't I already? No, there are more machines here, never mind. Huh. Still, I can't afford these upgrades. Fifty dollars, what a jip. Still, I suppose it's inevitable it's gonna have some bad days, but like, Jesus. <laughs> exorcism? No exorcism. Noted. Hmm. Then let me check in at the bar, see if there's anything new going down. There isn't really any place else that tends to have new events, really. So after I swing by there, I'll end off the day, I think. These two are new. I think. It seems like that moron has been pestering Sis again. Whew! That tiger guy? He wants a rematch. I guess he's targeting anyone who's climbing the ranks nowadays. Yeah, we know all about that. He's got a cool mech. Sure does. That thing can attack from miles away with those stupid stretchy arms. Wait, is that... Are you the sister of, um... That one girl who piloted Junker? He's like a punching sniper. Sure is. So, what do you want to eat? Tapioca! You're weird, kid. Hmm. Still, that's helpful info. He's a ranged attacker. Don't mind me. I'm gonna mind you. What you... Can I buy a robot yet? It looks like it's smoking. Hey, can I get a drink here, Joy? Little service? Hey, Mr. Roman Cola. How's it hanging? Pretty good so far. Yeah, you guys are really making a name for yourselves. Coming the talk of the town. You know that. Hell yeah. Well, we gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah, yeah, I hope things work out for you guys. Thanks, Joy. Drop by anytime. My family is growing hungrier by the day. We won't let them <laughs> starve now, will we? Doesn't seem like it. 
And yet, we never actually spend money in-game here, which is interesting. Oh hey, it's a bounty hunting uh, pair. What's going on with them? What do you have in that van of yours? <laughs> you look like you're on stakeout. That's how I work. Isn't it too... I don't know... exotic for a stealth approach? It's so overt, it's covert. That's exactly why it works. But why do you need such a big vehicle? You'll find out in time. You can cut all the crap. We're partners here, you know? Trust me. In this case, the less you know, the better. Ain't working, old man. You just got my attention. Also, like, why are these two low-key, more interesting characters than most of the main cast? Like, why is there not just a game about these two? <laughs> well, what about you? Why a motorcycle? It's fast, compact, gets me where I want. Motorcycle's a great choice in a city. Dangerous, but great. Yeah, it's also great for a backstabbing shot and high-speed collisions. <laughs> He's not wrong. There are definitely downsides. Mm. Flexibility comes at a price, I guess. Yeah, if that price is my life, I'm not willing to pay. You sound like my dad. He's like, ah, now I am uncomfortable. Can I? No, I know how that ends. Let me keep my hands off the piano. Begrudgingly. Alright, so a little bit of new stuff going on at the, at the bar. Also, I like how there's still the We Are Open sign outside the video store that apparently closed. Ironic, really. Today, we just rest and recover our energy. All right, that's the end of it. I'm gonna go pay my mother a visit. Don't wait for me. End of day 19. One day to jazz banks. Where the hell were you, Catman? Don't worry about it. You're a lazy dumbass. Now that's Morning, just dude. hurtful. Z called. Seems like she wanted to talk to you. Okay, message from ZZ. How's the homework? Uh, if I finish one more page, then I'll play for an hour. That's not a good balance. Hmm. This is hard. <laughs> Maybe one hour won't do. I'll play for two hours. Does the word procrastination mean anything to you, Nebraska? So hard. I think I need to play today. I'm not in the right mood for this homework. I'll get to it tomorrow. Uh-huh. Just finish it up already. I can't, Shado. Help me. This is so, so, so boring. <laughs> I get you, kid. I hated homework, too. How are your grades in school? Crappy, but okay, I guess. You think this is hard? Try studying in Japan. Try studying in Japan. Ooh, well, that's a very different thing. That must have been awesome. Huh. So, what you got there? I like that little vocal smack. If a train moves from rest to a speed of 25 meters per second in 30 seconds, what is its acceleration? Uh, I used to work at a bank. Um, wouldn't it be 50 meters? Or, wait. Wouldn't it be 50 meters? A, wait, 25 meters a second. Fuck it, I don't know. It doesn't matter as long as it isn't late. My thoughts exactly. I don't get why I need to learn this. I see no practical use in the real world. Maybe if you're thinking about being a physics engineer or something. I mean, she did mention MIT. Uncle Knife doesn't know this, and he pilots a Mac. He doesn't work on the Mac, he just pilots one. It's five-sixths of a meter per second squared, dude. All right. What the? <laughs> he ain't just a pretty face. I think I got good cardio. I'm ready for a marathon. How the hell did you get so big? You used to be a slim kid. It wasn't easy, dude. But I didn't like who I was. I worked hard at the gym at first. But really, eating right is what brought me here. Hell yeah. I enjoy it so much, you know? Taking care of my body is something I excel at. 
I'd rather not live to see you. You can have anybody you want, dude. Yeah. It's a robot, it's true. But I'm a little whatever you. But you're never. Just you wait and I'm gonna be a. You're already a pee machine. All you do is piss everyone off. Agreed. Just leave me alone, cat man. Mmm, things must not be good with his ma. We'll leave him be. Alright, well. Let's begin our rounds. Check on what pathetic, piddly amount of cash that uh, the arcade made us, and then uh, see what Z wants. I assume it'll have something to do with um, the exorcism, maybe? Jesus. Yeah, this is not getting another cent of my money. It's just a money sink. <laughs> Maybe once we get into higher ranks and start making actual money, theoretically. But I have a strange feeling that's never really gonna happen. We'll make money, but it'll get eaten up by, like, uh, expenses and the like. So, Alright. Really Exorcism time. Into the you again? Haven't you had enough? Never. The power of Christ compels you, motherfucker. The Exorcism of Mayflowers, part two. The power of Christ compels you, motherfucker. <laughs> Watch your mouth, weakling. Ooh, she got a proper voice of the Legion going on. Leave at once, fucking demon. <laughs> demon? We were here long before the word demon was created. I call a spade a spade. Way longer before I lost its original meaning. What do you want, abysmal creature? Leave us be, lesser being. This is far greater than you could ever understand. Do you seem reasonable somehow? <laughs> Why do you torment the damned girl? No, 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 don't let her. <laughs> torment? She's but a temporary vessel, an unfortunate receptacle, nothing more. Leave her alone, I command you, beast. You command me? Ha! Useless, helpless piece of worm shit. And yet, he's clearly getting to you. Go away! The power of Christ compels you, motherfucker! <laughs> this is very unexpected, but I love it. Build up power! And now we slice at the demon! Go straight Omni Slash on his ass. Oh god, he really is. I can button mash with the champ. Oh wow, that was very quick. I didn't need the button mash. Ow, my thumb. Ow, my aging old thumb. <laughs> Fuck. This is how Stand you get carpal you tunnel, Vimbert. You're gonna wake him before the time comes. Ankor's eyes will fall upon us. You'll damn us all. Leave the girl be, you scoundrels. Fine. Let's make a deal then. I don't deal with the devil. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> we need a new vessel. A receptacle to nest in until wounds are healed. How about a toilet? How about no? How about no? How about no? How about no? Um... We need ZZ. Uh, fuck it, Demon Path. Did that just game over no. me? Not you. No. Oh. <laughs> well, what about me? No, 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 no. We need you, Z. The old hag might do. We see the opening. God damn it, Z. We need you. We'll leave the girl. Leave us alone. Suit yourself. What? How are you okay with this? Ooh. Make yourself at home, motherfucker. What the? This was not our deal. I am altering the deal. Foxy bastard! Wait, no! My master! It's done. 
We sealed it in a bottle? Sure, whatever. Are you sure she's gonna be okay? Oh, achievement unlocked. We'll just have to wait and see. Where the hell did you learn to do that? He knows a guy. It's a long story, but this ain't the first time. Yeah, you did mention that. She should be fine now, but hit me up if you notice anything out of the ordinary. Will do. ZZ hands you a box of considerable weight. Inside it, you find some sort of explosive. Property of Bounty Hog. ZZ winks at you. The Exorcism of Mayflowers end. Hey, we did a good deed. TNT Mark II. Whoa, dare I ask what that does? Junk mine, increased number of high quality scraps. Explosive! This one goes so deep that the last time I used it, I dug up a childhood trauma. Cool. Okay, well, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Might earn a little bit of money off stream, and I'll be back with this on... Shit, when did I say? Thursday. Thursday. I'll be back streaming this on Thursday. Tomorrow, during the day, I'll be streaming a little bit of Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, continuing my draft run to catch up with the boys, since uh, I missed them and you guys on uh, Wednesday. So come hang out then if you like. Thanks for spending a little bit of your morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it may be for you. If you're watching the VOD after the fact, I see you, I appreciate you. My name is Vimbert, and I'll see you around the internets.